everyone, Matt Williams, the Champion to be welcome to the video. So today, you join us at San Luis County Regional Airport in California, where we'll be taking the Cat 4 rating on Pilot Edge, um, going from San Luis County, a towered airport that we've been to in the um, Cat 3 and a few of the other ratings as well. Um, towered airport inside Class D airspace, um, and then no flight following all the way down the coast of the south, about 20 miles away, to um, Santa Maria airport which is again a towered airport inside class d so the first time we've gone from a towered airport to a towered airport bringing everything together so um, yeah let's dive into the cockpit get everything set up and crack on i'm matt williams mr mpw join us as we take to the skies in various flight simulators using different plugins different technology different things to learn how to fly safely and efficiently Okay, so a quick walkthrough of what we've got set in the boxes then. Um, top of Com 1, we've got 1216, which is the ground at St. Louis, so we'll have a chat to them so we can get taxi out. Uh, 124, which is tower set um, in the standby, so we can just punch that straight across. Uh, top of uh, Nav 1, got 111.0, which is the Golf Lima Juliet, the Guadalupe, and that is um, shown already um, and given us sensible readings, but again, we'll double check that in the air. The Guadalupe is a VOR, um, which is almost co located with Santa Maria, so um, it gives a good steer as to whether we're going in the right direction and obviously probably as you've seen me do before we can bring that up track that radial so that we've well not track the radial but we can work out see which radial we're on at all times so that if we have an incident or an accident uh, or an emergency we can let air traffic control know straight away uh, where, where we are on the radial um, or what radio we're on, um, how far away we are from the facility and uh, they can send anyone out to come looking for us if required. Uh, working away down then I've got KSMX in the um, GPS um, down to Santa Maria which is our destination, it's giving us a sensible reading at the moment, um, direct track 144 um, which makes sense, heading down the coast there um, and then in the COM2 I've got guard which will monitor once we get airborne um, when we're between the Santa Maria um, tower um, get it onto their frequency and leave in San Luis tower um, and that is pretty much us set. So first of all, we're going to grab the ATIS 120.6. Let's monitor COM2. Altimeter 3023. Arriving and departing runway 29er. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information tango. Information tango. San Luis County Regional <laughs> Airport. Eight information tango. One four five six Zulu. Wind two nine or zero at one zero. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one four. Dew point nine or. Altimeter three zero two three. Arriving and departing runway two nine or. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact, you have information tango. Cool, so information tango, fairly straightforward, everything is set now. And we to be set, the runway 29, um, and the wind straight down the runway, which is always helpful. So we finished with the ATIS on here now, I'm going to put the next ATIS frequency in 12115, which is um, Santa Maria ATIS, and then we will look to call for taxi 121.15, again getting ahead of the aeroplane, um, so that we know that uh, there's it's fairly, um, we've got the capacity whilst we're airborne. He says running out of capacity while he's doing it. Right, so we're monitoring COM1. Um, we are monitoring guard and we've got 121.6. Hey, you know what my taxi parking will be there? Taxi drunk, I'm going to do one, St. Louis ground, Skyhawk 714, Golf Sulu, transient parking, information, Tango request, taxi for a south departure for the Cat 4. Number 714, Golf Sulu, Sound is ground, runway 29 or taxi via Alpha. 29 via Alpha, 714, Golf Sulu. Cool, okay, so brakes come off. Forward. Checking the brakes, brakes are good. Continue the taxi. As we go, so here we go. Alpha's this little taxiway, this taxiway right in front of us. As we come around to the left, wings dips left, ball out to the right. And DI and the compass are decreasing. <coughs> And 
Lift off set to the left ever so slightly. Come around to the right. Wings up to the right, balls out to the left. And DI and compass increasing free to move. Um, fairly lengthy taxi out here, all the way down to um, threshold runway 29. So I'll get the takeoff brief completed as we taxi out. Slightly out of order, I guess, for what we'd normally do. All the um, radios are set for everything that we might need en route. Um, but here we go. So, any problems on the departure? Well, there's room ahead and it's safe and suitable to do so. We'll remain on the ground or put the aircraft back down on the runway and deal with emergency on the ground. Um, once we're airborne, anywhere up to 700 feet, um, in the event of a major power loss or an emergency which requires it, I'll look to put the aircraft down on the ground somewhere within 30 degrees ahead of us. Above 700 feet, um, I'll be looking to turn the aircraft around to the left, um, either entering the pattern or coming back to the runway here. We've got a 10 knot uh, wind straight down the runway, so um, that will be blowing us on fairly stiffly. Um, so want to bear in mind if we do end up turning back and having to do a downwind landing. Good. So everything is set. We need to make sure we get clear for a south departure. A beautiful day in California. Nice little run up area here down at the end of runway 29. There's here, which is good. Position ourselves off in this direction. Pop the brakes on. Check that there's no one behind us, which there isn't, we're all clear. So, nose gear is straight. I'm going to jump outside for this um, and check the flying controls are full and free. Which they are. Which is good. Um, Fuel selector is on and set to both. We are clear behind, as we said. I'm going to set 1700 RPM. Roger, Papa. Roger, runway 30. Work for you. Uh, great, thank you. Yeah, yeah. 700 RPM. Yeah, we have Alpha, vacuum uh, at 4.8 there, so that is plenty. It's above 3, which is what we're looking for. Um, mags, Alpha, checking the left mag. Slight drop in the yeah, RPM there, but no stop. Back to both. Yeah. Arrow saws over to the right. Slight drop there. No stop. Back to both. Uh, and up restores. And. Throttle back to either looking for a minimum of 500. <coughs> Which have there about 680. Back to 1000. Good. Taxi forwards. Good look out. As we go, keeping an eye on base and final. Cool. Okay, so flaps wise, I'll take the flaps down to 10. Um, they're indicating and visually checked on both sides. Trim is set for takeoff. Doors and windows are closed. Transponder on. Out 1200. Takeoff brief completed. Base and final is clear, and we'll check before we go. All the lights are on, the fuel pump is on. Wind is straight down the runway, and that is kind of confirmed by the windsock there. I'll keep an eye on that as we go. And uh, now it's just a case of getting permission to go and be for a south departure. <coughs> Um, punch straight over to tower, 124.0, um, we can do that and get away from ground, we don't need to tell them that we are going, and I'm going to put tower 118.3 um, for Santa Maria while we've got a second in, um, sorry what am I doing, 118.3, um, could probably do that in the air actually thinking about it, it's probably more appropriate to do it in the air, um, in case we have to come back in here, but there we go. And um, then we straight over to ground. But we know ground's 121.6, so I can put that in. Uh, one to note for next time, I guess. So, tower. Oh, oh, just beep. <coughs> That Burbank Tower cross Van Nuys at uh, 3000 or above, make straight in runway 8. Runway 8, couldn't land. Um, cross um, the midfield, land uh, runway 8 or not. Bless him. Are you to go off contact depart? Is this part 32 Golf? I want someone in Golf contact, uh, SoCal Perch 126.7. Uh, 
St. Louis Tower, Skyhawk 714, Golf Sulu holding short runway 29 for south departure. 714, Golf Sulu, St. Louis Tower, runway 29, clip takeoff. Clear takeoff runway 29 and 714, Golf Sulu. Cool. Jet Departure, Vision Jet November 22, Golf Climbing via the SID at the 5000. Two, 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 Busy day today on the radio. One, six, zero, two, two, Taking a while to uh, get in, but uh, that's one of those things. Fortunately, ticks the Hobbs meter over, right? But thankfully, the sim it's free. Right, runway two nine. I see on the threshold. Two nine on the DI. Two nine on the compass. Power's coming in. We are clear ahead. There's full power. Holding that centre line. RPM's good. Temperatures and pressures are good. Airspeed's alive. Fifty five. We have gently rotating. Climbing away, watching that trim. Holding that heading as well as we go. Yeah, Positive rate of climb on both. Clear of any obstructions. Flaps coming up. Indicates. Visually checked. It's all good. RPM's good. Temperature pressure's good. In the climb. Going to climb at 90 knots um, just to get a bit of penetration and kind of set ourselves up on the, um, in the circuit direction. Uh, the pattern if you like, sorry, um, just so we can conform with that, make things a little bit easier for ourselves. 328, That's looking good. RPM's good, temperature pressure all good in the climb, couple hundred feet to level now. 5.5 five is our first heading. As we get out of here, there we go, so it's starting to level now. Bring that power back so we can start our cruise. Coming around to the left, we are clear. Turn that look out at all times. Okay, so that's us downwind now. We'll be looking to depart the circuit, leaving that mix trying to touch. About there we go. That's looking good there. 2400 RPM is going to give us about 120 true, which is nice. Downwind now, and that will allow us to intercept our departure track. So off the end of the downwind is 155. So we'll set that up on the heading book now. And I'm going to aim the tower until we're clear with air class D. Cool. Right, pumps off. Everything else on. On and out. Tracks up. Altitude. We're clear of the pattern now, so I'm going to start to climb. Now we'll do a cruise climb up to 2,500 feet as we go. This one is about 1,000 feet in the climb now. Clock is running. Now we turn right, now we'll clear the pattern. On to our heading so that we can track. And that's all looking fairly nice. We're going to Oceano, uh, overhead the L52. It's a nice gentle cruise climb. Temperature pressure all looking good, fuel's looking good as well. <clears throat> a couple of miles to run to the edge of the Class D. And we've got the coast ahead of us and we're following that down and Santa Maria's over here somewhere in the distance. So that's all looking nice. Let's keep that climb going. 
look at going as well. Can you repeat for 20 Papa, please? 20 Papa, flighting 100 vector visual approach. 100 vector visual approach. 20 Papa. Cool, and that's us now clear there, Class D, Scorpion 1200 and Alt. Clear up to 2500. Um, and we can now, we're monitoring guard 1215. I'll stay on this tower frequency because it kind of makes sense to me to do that. Um, I'm going to do a bit of pilotage and, uh, like I say, just knowing where the track line takes us, we ended up a little bit. Um, left of track so just closing ourselves back onto track now so we can go towards Oceano um, yeah we ended up a little bit um, off track and um, not quite what I expected we'll clear that and yeah sorry what I was saying I'm absolutely maxed out listening to the uh, to the radio there um, I'm going to stay with Oceano Oceano, goodness me! I'm gonna stay with San Luis Tower until I get overhead Oceano, and then I'll switch over to um, Santa Maria, just because I think it makes sense to have the nearest tower facility, if you like, on the radio, so that you can talk to them if you need to, if you have any issues. Right, Oceano, then um, we're coming towards the overhead. Now there's Oceano down there underneath us. Which is working nicely, coming down the coast, Santa Maria over here. 2,500 feet, eventually. Next track is going to be 126. 126 we have, so it'll be a left turn onto that, which is what we expect. Altitude 2,500, airspeed 120 true, which we are getting there or thereabouts. Time, clock will be running, it's a 15 nautical mile leg, um, it'll take us about 10 minutes and 30 seconds with the wind as it is. So, coming left, turning onto track. I'm going to punch across, 18 decimal 3. And that is all looking sensible. Clock's running. Expect them to take us into runway 30 at Santa Maria, so it'll probably be a left downwind call for them, I would imagine. Um, just keeping this Guadalupe radial in here for now, although I'll drop that shortly. Temperature pressures are all looking good, fuel's looking good. Um, instrument cross check 30130, so that's all looking fine. Looking good with the GPS as well. No flags and warnings. Right, so I've put the Santa Maria tower frequency, uh, 118.3 in the box. I'm going to grab their ATIS now, um, 12115, which I've already put in. Visual approach is in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. Do you have information, Juliet? Santa Maria Public Airport, ATIS information, Juliet. 1551 Tower set. Um, I'm going to set ground in as well. One two one decimal nine. In the standby, so we can punch straight across that. But when we get there, I head in. Cool, and finally, let's get this set to what it was. 3021. Uh, Perfect. Uh, okay, we are all good. We are, what are we looking at now? About 10 miles to the northwest. Alright, the tires are great. These are our poppers with the numbers. 
Santa Maria Tower, Skyhawk 714, Golf Sulu, 10 miles to the northwest inbound, full stop with Juliet. Yeah, 714 for Golf Sulu, Santa Maria Tower, and a right downwind on 30, report midfield. Right downwind, 30, call midfield, 714 Golf Sulu. Cool, there we go, so we've got two ACOMs of them now, we can go into their class D, which is nice. Um, Guadalupe VORs just coming down, and then what will be our right hand side. Downwind right downwind for runway 3. Zero. Start in a um, gentle cruise descent down now. 470 affirmative, that's what you got in your route. Thank you. Okay. And a set of arrival checks. Fuel's on, set to both. <coughs> Make sure I'm going to set back to rich now in that descent. The fuel pump will bring it on. Brakes are off. Fuel is good. Engine temperature pressures are all good. My harness is secure. Perfect. Okay, starting to offset now to the right. Or for a right downwind, offset to the left. Checks completed now, pretty much ready to go. Bring ourselves down. We've got the runway visual now, so we've got the runway here. And we're going to do right downwind and in. <coughs> Call midfield downwind. So that's nicely set up now, I would say. to the airport, to the runway, just get ourselves spaced out a little bit more. Damage pressures are all looking good, feels looking good, instruments are all set. So brakes are off. Pops. Mixture's rich. Still secure. Sweet. Okay. Down we now to the midfield. We'll give them a call. John Wing Ground, so it's about seven seven four seven off of East Ram. Not so all looking nice as we do. 7747 Golf, Jamie Ground, runway 20 left, taxi via Alpha Hotel, Charlie Kilo. Taxi via Alpha Hotel, Charlie Kilo, 47 Golf. Santa Maria Tower, Sky 714 Golf, through the midfield downwind, runway 30. Four Golf, through the runway 30, good land. Good land, runway 30, 714 Golf, through Right, so, approach 
looks all clear over there. Start to bring the power back, setting about 1700. And the rate of descent to come in. One stage of flaps in, and that indicates and the rate of descent develop a little bit. Turn around to the right, turn it base. Again, keeping a good look out, making sure that um, the final approach looks clear all the way around. All about 80 knots as we go. The rate of descent's come on a little bit heavy, but that's fine because I did balloon up a touch. Second stage of flap coming in now. Just trying to hold that attitude. There's about 80. Coming around to the right. We have been cleared to land. Clearance, November 666, Delta Pampa, uh, request clearance to Las Vegas for my I-58. 75, it's all looking good. Shift for Delta Pampa, perfect clearance, good Las Vegas, report down, and good for the Dagger transition as well. Maintain board now. Roll that 75. One, 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 Departure frequency 134.2, squad 653, and uh, 10.1. See, yeah, ended up a little bit higher than I thought we would, but that's okay, it's not a problem, not going to panic, we'll correct that as we go, nice gentle corrections. Did this yesterday, I shot through the centre line. Crazy. Oh, let's try harder. Right, 70 knots. Let's get ourselves on that glide, get ourselves on that centre line. We have been cleared to land, my toes are clear of the brakes and the runway is clear ahead. Pulling that power back a little bit, holding that 65 now, coming onto the glide nicely. Hold that 65, bit of power coming in now just so we don't go too low the glide. I'll hold that 65 until we all the way in, over the fence, which we have about there, so that's 65, over the threshold, start to bring that back, look at the end of the runway now, and throttle's idle, holding her off, there we go, do it down. Flaps coming up, pumps going off. Well, somebody was rushing in there, who was that? Uh, 171 at Golf, you want to contact Tower? 171 at Golf, uh, sure, contact Riverside Tower, 121.0, uh, oh, squawk VFR. Okay, 171 at Golf, VFR, right on. Taxing in, Alpha 6, so we get ourselves the other side of the whole bars. 4620 Papa has runway in sight. Pow. Brakes are on, flaps are up, pumps off, strobe's going off. Taxi lights, lights go off as well. Ground, we've got one decimal nine on the standby. Chongming Tower, Cessna 7747, got holding short, runway 20 left at Kilo, uh, for IFM. And, except transponder standby as well. Give this read back, and then we'll look for... Tower, Cessna 7747, got holding short, runway 20 left at Kilo, Quick takeoff, runway 20 left, 4750, thank you. Live Tower, Cessna 8280, Papa's, uh, mid-tail downwind, 20 left. Santa Maria Ground, uh, Santa Maria Tower, Skyhawk, 714, Golf Sulu, uh, Alpha 6, request taxi for parking. Golf Taxi parking, pass for Cat 4. Taxi parking, pass for Cat 4, thanks, 714, Cool, taxing forwards. Um, he would have pushed us across the ground frequency, I guess, if uh, they wanted us to go on that. So we'll stay with them on tower. Um, just makes it easier for them, I think, in terms of traffic management and control. But that is um, effectively how we do that. Um, fairly straightforward, nothing new. Um, the only thing I suppose I didn't officially get was clearance to depart um, VFR kind of down to the south um, from San Luis uh, when we left but that was what we'd asked for um, you know we cleared there cat 
their Class D airspace and, um, and carried on. So, um, yeah, the Cat 4, fairly straightforward, just pulling together a few of the threads that, um, you know, you should have uh, started to pick up now. Um, but if you've got any questions, please drop them down in the comments below. More than happy to help. Drop me an email, matt, M -A -T -T with two T's, at mrmpw.com. Follow our Discord server again, link down below. Um, let, you know, we're starting to kind of build a good community now of people who um, are into this kind of thing and hopefully get more people from Pilot Edge and we could do fly-ins and things like that as well, which would be quite cool, even if you're going to do that on the trial. Um, and let me know what you think. If you want to see other things, if you want me to do things differently, if you want me to explain anything that I'm doing differently, please let me know. Um, yeah, and I guess I will see you in the Cat 5. Don't forget to give the video a like if you did, give it a thumbs down. And if you didn't, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. I've been Matt Williams. Fly safe. Blue skies.